President Obama seeking retaliation for what the White House says is cyber interference by Russia in the U.S. presidential election, including those embarrassing leaks of emails from the DNC and Hillary Clinton's campaign team. Joining me now, the political panel, conservative commentator Gina Loudon and Democratic strategist Jessica Tarloff. Let me start with you, Jessica. Uh, if it wasn't for the embarrassment uh, that was suffered by those emails being released from yeah. the DNC and uh, the Clinton campaign, you, you got to wonder, is the Obama administration reacting to uh, a foreign government interfering or is it payback for messing things up for the Democrats? I think it can be both, actually, at this point. When you have 17 intelligence agencies all coming to the same conclusion, I think you need to act. It was confusing to people on both the left and the right why James Comey had suspicions that something was going on, but thought that he couldn't come forward and talk about it because it was within 60 days before the election. But lo and behold, 11 days out, he can say that they're looking at emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Um, so I think it is both. You know, I mean, President Obama obviously is incredibly upset about the outcome of this election, but now it's about our national security. In your last panel, you were discussing it as well. Well, Andrew Peake doesn't think that we're going to have our grid shut down. There are things that the Russians can clearly do to us, and we're not prepared. Gina, Gina I want to bring you in on this, and this is going to be a bit of a softball, so you can thank me later. <laughs> but, but Jessica set this one up. The Democrats, the DNC was told by our intelligence services more than a year ago that you're being hacked and did very little to prevent it. Excuse me, but <laughs> if someone tells you a year ago yeah. uh, your computer systems are being hacked, hello, excuse me for trying to act like a teenager. I mean, come on, Jessica, <laughs> don't, isn't this, do, does the DNC bear a great deal of responsibility here? That's why this is all so very suspicious to me. A lot too little, Adam, and a lot too late. Um, I, I, I look at the, the things as they, as they start to mount up. The fact that no one, let's remember, no one is denying that what was released is actually, was actually true. That's point number one. Then we look at what just happened with John Kerry and with Israel, and uh, now we look at this with Russia, and it's just looking like a very weak, incompetent administration getting sort of desperate. And if you really look so at the facts Gina, hard, do you think we hacked it, it, ourselves minute, and we thought, Jessica, like, spirit cooking Jessica, was a me, good thing to finish put out there? My, <laughs> let me finish my point. Jessica, let me finish my point. If Obama believes that if he had been on the ballot, he could have truly yeah. won, as I believe he said last week, if he believes that, then what difference would the meddling make in the first place? So you, you really can't speak out of both, of your, both sides of your mouth and try to make two different points when what you're really doing is just making a hypocrite well, of yourself well, even Gina, further. Gina, let me ask you this. President-elect Trump and uh, President Putin have... I, I, Let's call it a bromance. I mean, they seem to like each other. They're just short of what is it, the old pictures of Eric Honecker from East Germany and Brezhnev <laughs> kissing sometimes. Uh, but, but there could be a potential cool uh, warming of relations with Russia, despite what's happening right now. Um, and yet, President-elect Trump has been criticized about this. It would seem to me that you want to turn your enemies into perhaps partners of some kind. Is that what is actually at play with, with Trump and the Obama administration trying to foul that up? I think that's, that is absolutely part of what is going on here. I think Obama is jealous because uh, whether, whether he believes it or not, President-elect Trump is making an effort to reach out to people that have been the most threatening to the United States. That's not to, not to say, and I don't think anyone has ever feared uh, that President-elect Trump is going to be too soft on our enemies. In fact, here we go again with the hyperbole. The Democrats tried to convince us all the way through the election, remember, that President-elect Trump had two reactive personality to have his finger on the red button, so to speak. They were talking about Putin, but now, as he tries to make some diplomatic advances with Putin, they say, oh, look, they're buddies. So, again, you can't have it both ways. They need to stop talking over themselves and just get back to why did they lose this election, take a look in the mirror, and try to do some things better going yeah, Jesse, forward. I, yeah. you know, what Gina's saying is, essentially, this was a lot of political retribution. And, yes, the United States has to react to a perceived threat from a foreign government, but most of this, if I hear Gina correctly, is this is just kind of the Democrats not being able to accept the outcome of the election. Listen, we've accepted it. I mean, th we talk about it all the time. There are people, obviously, who are blaming it on different factors. And there are those that say it was James Comey and the Russians. When you lose by 80,000 votes in three states, 
you can point to specific things, right? And listen, and we know that we won the popular vote by close to three million. So, but I have accepted it. All of my friends have accepted it. We're going to go along. You know, I'm not excited for the inauguration, but we know that it's coming, and we're going to have to work together. And we're in the minority. But for Gina to say that what Donald Trump, Trump has just Jessica. done is to build diplomatic relations when he denied, for instance, that Russia invaded Ukraine. When you put up Sec a Secretary of State nom nominee and Tillerson, who said that he doesn't believe in the sanctions against Russia. And listen, Tillerson isn't even the most con concerning person that I think that he's put up. But there are strong indications that Donald Trump has no intention to be tough on Russia. And these new sanctions will be a test of him to see what he's going to do if he's going to reverse them. Gina, 20 seconds, and then I've got to get, a, get to commercial break. You want to respond to that? Yeah, where is the mea culpa? If Jessica says the Democrats are looking hard at the things they did wrong in the election, it's hard to see that. I've heard Jessica talk about things that the Democrats have done wrong, but I haven't heard leaders like Hillary, uh, is certainly not Obama, Nancy Pelosi, and others, I haven't heard them say well, that's not, what they did President wrong. Obama President, talked about the President last Obama case stepping, Joe done, Biden talked about the economic message. How what he could have done was talked about how his weakness with Russia throughout his presidency put us in the position. That's not how where we lost 80,000 white working class voters. That and and that's where we're going to have to cut it off. Bye, but Gina. You, I think you guys are going to be back in a minute. <laughs> Gina Loudon, Jessica Tarlov. They, they, people get along very well. It's just on TV sometimes. They get a little, just a little heated.